As you can guess, I took my light bee dirt biking today because I'm wearing all my dirt bike gear and my bike is very dirty and it's got the dirt wheel set up on it. So, but anyway, uh, so there's something very wrong with this bike and you can't tell just by looking at it, okay? Um, but I can, I can show you what's wrong with it. <laughs> um, well, you can probably, well, you probably guess what's wrong with it by looking at the title of the video. Got my key here, and I'll show you what's wrong with it. Like it still kind of works, kinda. <laughs> yeah, hear that? Yeah, no bueno. Ooh. Yeah, so the the more power, the more power I give the bike, the more the more crappy it runs. So, so what's what's happened here is some of the teeth on the belt on the primary drive belt on my bike has gone bye bye. Okay, so so I'll kind of tell you the story of how it happened and uh, and yeah, and then we'll kind of I'll see if I can get a kind of shot of the belt. I'm pretty sure some of the teeth are missing. So um, yeah, so I've had this bike for for more than a year now. And I've never done any kind of maintenance on the belt. So, so this is Hades Omega is one of those, this is one of those Hades Omega type cases here. So I haven't done anything with the belt, nothing. Okay. So, uh, thus far it's been treated me pretty well. Um, I do notice if you do ride it in like dirty conditions, the belt gets kind of noisy sometimes, you know, and then it's like, I'll, I like, after I wash my bike, it gets quieter. So sometimes the dirt in there, can get can get in the belt and the pulleys and then it just you know makes a lot of weird noises and stuff. So, um, so, so yeah. Anyway, so here's a story. Um, we were uh, I had probably won't I'll probably put this video up before that, but I was at the mini motocross track at Metcalf Motorcycle Park and I was chunk I was tuning my bike because I had the BSC 2000 controller on it and the NXC display and we're trying to I'm trying to get this bike set up. And it's given me a lot of problems. Uh, apparently, it runs great on road. I got, I've got it to that point where it runs great on the pavement, but in the dirt, it runs like crap. <laughs> okay, um, it's got all that power, but like it, it, you know, it's not reliable. It cuts out on me and stuff. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So I did. I was doing several laps around the motor, the mini motocross track, and trying to tune the bike, mess, messing around with the settings, and then one lap. I noticed, man, my bike, something seals off about my bike. Like something is wrong with the with the drive train or something. And I, I'm, I'm pulling off the bike, I'm looking at the chain and stuff, because that's the first thing you'll look at. Okay, I think I'm gonna break. I'm gonna take a break. I love this left turn here. <laughs> I suck at right turns, by the way, guys. <laughs> that's why I'm having so much trouble with my right handers. Yeah, there's something wrong. Something's wrong with the drivetrain, man. It's, it sounds kind of funny. Um, if your chain has been adjusted properly, uh, or if it's kind of dirty, you got like kinks in your chain or something, that that can cause it to to become noisier, and you can feel like a, a vibration in the vibe drivetrain. So I've I've had it happen before, and uh, and yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with the chain. It's 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 a little bit loose. It probably could have been tightened, but I was I was at the motocross track and we were jump, we were getting some mad air with it. So I'm like. Probably not a good idea to tighten the chain a whole lot. It's, it, it needs to move, you know, um, the swing arm. So, so yeah. So I, I thought like, mm, okay, I don't know, whatever. And then, so it, it felt like a little clunk. Like every time the bike would go, every time the wheel would go like one rotation, it would you would feel a kind of like clunk, 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 clunk. So I just kept on riding it and riding it. And then uh, what happened? Um, and then I took a break. And then uh, and then we went to trail one. And then, uh, and then I really messed it up. <laughs> I did one lap, and then, and then I tried to do another lap at full power, 
and then uh, and then they just destroy the bill. <laughs> yeah. Now it's 207 max amp, so it's like giving you the full power. Okay. Now well, we only have like half the charge right now, so you know it's not really going to go that fast, but. But yeah, it's uh, so this is the full power this time. It was 65 amps. Uh, the last the last ride through this trail was uh, was 65 amps. Now we're at 200 amps max current. Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. It immediately cut off. Yeah, it's immediately cut off already. Fast, but. In mid-air, I didn't like that, man. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh. Yeah, so, something is up with the... When I hit the regen, I'm getting a clunk. Uh, yeah, so it's doing it. So I need the power off, power back on, and we'll get the full power. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Something's wrong with my bike. Yeah. Anyway, I got the full power right now. Okay, oh, we need to go back. There's something wrong with the drivetrain on this. Oh, yeah. It sounds really bad now. I think I broke something. Yeah, that sounds real bad. Hold on. What's up with that? Guy broke the sprocket or something. I don't know. What is up with that? It sounds horrible. Yeah, I'm getting a really bad clunk on the regen. The chain is pretty loose. That could be it. Maybe we need to go tighten the chain. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, well... Oh, let me go fix it. Yeah, I could feel it. There's like a... No. Yeah, there's something seriously wrong with the bike now. Like I broke like a bearing or some shit, man. It's really loud and making a lot of noise. Does it under power? Man, I hope I didn't break my motor. It seems fine. The motor seems fine. I think I just broke my bike, guys. <laughs> I think I think we're done for today. But uh, we found out. Yeah, the problem is there's too much power. Oh, that's bad, dude. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, you know what? I think it's the, it's the belt. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the belt. I think we just roasted our belt, man. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the belt, man. That's, I think some of the, I think some of the teeth on the belt t came off. That's what that is. Okay, well, the good thing is everything is all downhill from here, so. <laughs> Yeah, when I apply power, it skips. It's like the chain. The chain is not doing that. I'm like, <laughs> I think I just, I think I just destroyed the belt. So, <laughs> so there you go, guys. That's what it sounds like. Hear that? 
That's what it sounds like when you dam destroy your belt. I'm pretty sure that's the belt, man. <laughs> I don't know what else it could be. I, what I think is some of the teeth came out of the belt, and then it's skipping on the, on the sprocket. So, I don't know. We may damage the sprocket if we keep on riding it like this. So, I would just, uh, just take it back very slowly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really bad now. Oh, there we go. Huh. Yep, I don't know what that is, but <laughs> it, it was doing it earlier though. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I. I think what happened is uh, so some of the teeth on the belt they came off, <laughs> so so we need to put a new belt on it. So so what's happening is some of the teeth are in, there's still some teeth on the belt, so it's kind of engaging, and then uh, and then and then some of them some of them still engage, but so and then when it gets to the part with no teeth, it just skips. So so we destroyed the belt. <laughs> Hear that? I'm giving it some power. It only happens under power. I think what had happened was like one or two teeth came off of the belt, like straight off of the belt, straight off of the belt, and then um, and then when I did that last lap, it like must have taken out like five or six teeth. So um, I think I think maybe my belt was loose or something. It might have it skipped or something, or maybe it's just old. I don't know. Um, I don't know how many miles I got it on it. I don't know how many times the belt has been changed on this bike because I got it used. I'm assuming it's been never it's never been changed. So, so yeah. So one belt lasted me about more than a year, more than a year. So that's not bad. Um, and I, I'm not gonna lie, like uh, I uh, I rode the piss out of my bike. So <laughs> um, I I treated this bike very roughly. So and it, it endured it for like a year. I've heard of people like smoking the belt and stuff, like, but I, I haven't had any problems with the belt really until like now. So, um, so. That's what I believe has happened. I haven't verified it, verified it, but like you kind of. So one of the one of the flaws I see with the Soran is you can't see you can't see the belt. It's like a timing belt on the car, right? You can't see the timing belt on the car because uh, uh, on the engine, you know, uh, because they got a plastic cover over it, and you need to inspect it every once in a while. You know, that's one of the things that you know people don't don't do um, that they should be doing. You know, they should be inspecting that belt to see if there's any kind of damage from the little window. So. So on this bike, there's a cover, there's a plastic cover over the belt, and you can take that off, and then, then you can inspect the belt. I've never taken it off, though, but <laughs> so that's uh, so probably why I, I, Hayes and me, I should probably do that every once in a while to check the belt out. I don't know if the belt was too loose. It could have been too loose, because uh, I, I kind of noticed that the belt has been getting kind of louder lately. So it's, it's probably time to, like, tighten the belt if you hear it making noises. So. Um, but yeah, so, so that's what happened. I, I had ridden it really hard today, really hard on some of the trails, and then we were just ripping on it on the on the motocross track. So that's probably what did it in. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, um, so so we're just gonna have to get a new belt. Um, look forward to a video about uh, changing the primary drive belt on the uh, Soran Light B. Um, hey, and there there is a chain conversion out. I think if you're probably gonna do all dirt riding, yeah, you probably want to go with the with a chain conversion, but I heard it's a lot noisier, and I, I don't want my bike to be noisy. And like I said, I got a year of riding this bike really rough, and uh, you know, it's fine. So, and mind you, I have the 62 sprocket in the rear, so when we ride in the dirt, I think it's, you know, it's not, it's not that crazy, so, uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I do notice that under regen, it is, it, it's louder, like, it, it hangs up more. If you let the bike kind of freewheel, it's not as bad. Like if I spin the wheel forward, if I, yeah, see, if I spin, oh yeah, see, it got, it's got, it's got, got stuck there, right? Kind of have to like force it forward, see? I'm pretty sure some of the teeth are missing, so. But if you let it freewheel, it's fine. If you give it a little power, see, you can hear, you can hear it skipping and making noises. Oh my god, horrible, right? 
And then if you give it regen, it's even it's even worse. Ooh. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. That's no, okay. Let's stop doing that. I, um, so if that ha if this happens to your bike, you probably shouldn't be riding it, okay? Um, because uh, you could damage you could probably damage the pulley, so um, you don't want to damage the pulley. Uh, so that that was the kind of I think that's the kind of damage that happened to my bike. It um, the the teeth came off. Teeth came off. So um, yeah, teeth came off of the belt. Um, it the, the the belt didn't snap or anything. It's the, the teeth came off. So uh, I think uh, I think some people the belt kind of snaps off. Maybe like you overheat the belt. And the, teeth came off and or like some of the ribs come off of the belt you know um, it's a pretty tough belt though so I don't know <laughs> all right so uh, so I uh, look forward to a future video of Hades Omega changing the belt in the future and, uh, hopefully it's not too hard uh, it definitely it's a uh, you have to kind of you have to take the swing arm apart and stuff it's really annoying I've never done it before so uh, we're gonna get a chance to do it so uh, let's take a closer look at it real quick Uh, yeah, so there's the, I can see the pulley from here, but I can't see the belt. See, that's the problem. You can't, you can't see if anything's wrong with it. Yeah, I can, I can't see the belt. I can see the pulley. Yeah, the chain is pretty loose, too, though. Yeah, yeah. You can't really see. Uh, oh yeah, from here, from here, from here, you can probably see. Oh, we have to get the camera at just the right angle. Yeah, so you can kind of, you can kind of get a peep at it. Nope. No, not really. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you can kind of barely see it if you kind of look at the. Oh, guys, sorry guys, I, okay, so I shot a video of, like, how the, uh, the belt was damaged, and, uh, I got a flashlight here so you guys can see a little better. Um, so, if you look right here, I'll zoom in a little bit. Okay. Right there, th there's something wrong with the belt, okay? There's no teeth on it, okay? So, it's supposed to look like that, Okay. See, there's teeth on that. No teeth. Ugh. Shredded belt. No teeth. Teeth, okay? Got it? So that's what's wrong. That's what happened to the belt. I'm pretty sure. And it's a good section of the, the, the belt that doesn't have teeth. So every time it gets to that section, it kind of skips. Okay? Um, it's probably not a good idea to ride it like that because it could damage your pulleys. Uh, and then you're going to wind up replacing the pulley too while you're at it so so don't write it like that if you can um, uh, basically fortunately Hazel Mega was like on a trail that was really close to uh, to the um, to the parking lot so I was able to get back with not too much problem so uh, okay so yeah so there you go you guys found it uh, um, saw what the damage is um, so like I said this Hazel Mega has been riding this bike for more than a year now and uh, and that's what happened. So the belt lasted him, lasted me a year. But the previous, this previous owner of this bike probably had it for like a year too. So this is probably, probably two years on that belt. And it, uh, you know, I would say, man, I don't know. It's a good question. I don't know how many miles to go before you know the belt. Uh, one thing Hades make it thinks is if I had done proper chain ma uh, uh, belt maintenance, like just taking that cover off and inspected it every once in a while and then maybe tighten it if it looked look kind of loose because uh, I think it might have been loose that's probably the problem if the belt is too loose it may skip the teeth and then it could damage it so you want it at the proper tension okay so so yeah that's kind of a bummer man but uh look forward to a video of uh, Hades Omega uh, fixing the uh, or replacing the primary drive belt on the Sauron so <laughs> you guys want to figure that out um, you watch that um, we'll see how hard it is. Uh, I know you got to take like the swing arm apart and take the whole suspension out and all that stuff. So it's
it's not a not easy not easy task and uh yeah <laughs> not not easy task there is a uh there is a chain conversion for this bike but uh i'm not gonna get it i, I like it quiet you know um, at least half of it quiet you know <laughs> plus chains you know they stretch and stuff and you have to tighten them i mean i guess the belt stretches too but not as much um but but yeah like i said i've done zero maintenance on this and you know that's what happened so after like two years of really heavy duty use or one year of heavy duty use well it was in hades omega's care <laughs> um yeah that happened so all right so uh so thanks for watching that's a quick video on hades omega's uh shredded belt vlog <laughs> shredded belt vlog yeah that's that's what's a shredded belt or no it's not shredded it's like uh, i'm just gonna say it's damaged it's a damaged belt so um it didn't snap so that's good um if it did snap then then yeah you'd be kind of up the creek without a pedal type thing you know <laughs> you'd, you'd really be put, have to push the bike back you know so yeah um all right so well anyway bike is down i'm a little disappointed i can't ride the bike because uh, i was i was in the middle like tuning it um i think i got it close to to working reliably you know but i didn't get it close to working it reliably with a lot of power <laughs> Because man, I'm telling you, dude, when you when you ride this thing with double the power, it is bonkers, man. <laughs> it is a lot of fun, but uh, but yeah, apparently it can't handle it, so <laughs> it freaks out and stuff. So I have to fi I have to figure that out. Um, but uh, but I need that power for climbing hills. But anyway, so yeah, that's besides the point. Um, that's that's the shirt. That's the damaged belt vlog. <laughs> All right, here we go. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, I just found these underneath my bike. <laughs> Those are the, that's the teeth of the belt right there. Uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> Needs to be out.